welcome students so this is our next session in the chapter atoms so as you know that in my previous class i was explaining about frequency and wave number and i think i am sorry for the one thing here i am unable to tell you the that wave number equation okay so uh, i was explaining with the frequency and uh, um, the frequency of this spectral line of uh, hydrogen atom and we obtained wavelength of this spectral line and thus uh, bohr's theory successfully explains about origin of spectral lines in a hydrogen atom and uh, we also once again uh, noticed about the presence of uh, different types of uh, spectral series such as lyman series balmer series passion series bracket series and uh, p fund series so one thing i would clarify here that wave number so very simple wave number already you know wavelength equation so empirical formula for wavelength for the determination of the wavelength of this observed spectral line so you know that the wavelength of the spectral line wavelength of the wavelength of the actually this i could mention in my previous class only so unfortunately i was forgot to highlight it and just i am going to explain it uh, what is wave number just you can note it wavelength of the spectral line is given by lambda 1 by lambda is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square so where lambda is the wavelength n1 lower orbit n2 higher orbit so depending upon the series you have a choice of this n1 as well as n2 if i take n1 1 n2 2 3 4 5 6 that corresponds to lyman series that corresponds to lyman series like that if i take 2 and if i take 3 4 5 6 so on up to infinity that becomes balmer series like that so wavelength of the spectral line is given by 1 by lambda is equal to this much where r is redberg constant lambda wavelength so wave number so what is wave number wave number is represented symbolically nu bar it is represented with what a nu bar we represent wave number and this wave number is nothing but what it is the reciprocal of wavelength it is equal to the what a reciprocal of wavelength so that is called as wave number here so wave number is nothing but what it is the reciprocal of wavelength so we call nu bar is equal to what here so nu bar is equal to reciprocal of wavelength so therefore 1 by lambda is nothing but nu bar 1 by lambda is nothing but nu bar here so that is wave number is equal to wave number is equal to nu bar we write and this nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda whatever the lambda value you will get take its whatever the value of lambda you will get just 1 by that lambda value will gives wave number what is wave number number of waves present per unit length number of waves present per unit length is called wave number wave number means how many number of waves are present per unit length is called as wave number represented as nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda into so 1 by lambda so we know that 1 by lambda is nothing but r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square so this is the expression for wave number so for today's class is concerned now i am going to explain you i told in my previous class that energy level diagram of hydrogen atom so bohr explained one energy level diagram so in that diagram he is going to specify about the uh, observed spectral lines lyman series balmer series of hydrogen atom so just we shall see that diagram so next concept is energy levels 
energy levels energy levels or energy level diagram of hydrogen atom energy level diagram of hydrogen atom so energy level diagram of hydrogen atom so we know that for an hydrogen atom we know that for hydrogen atom atomic number is equal to 1 for hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom atomic number is 1 and we know that energy corresponding to the hydrogen atom in nth stationary orbit is that minus 1 by n square into m e to the power of 4 by 8 h square epsilon naught square. If you resolve that you will get it as 13.6 electron volt divided by n square. E is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt by n square. It means this is the generalized equation for finding the total energy of the electron in the nth orbit of hydrogen atom. So, with the help of this equation, with the help of this equation, here n can have a choices 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, so on up to infinity. See here. If I take 1 here, that corresponds to the energy of the first orbit, E1. If I take in place of N1, then it becomes minus 13.6 divided by 1 square. So, this becomes minus 13.6 electron volt, E1. So, if I take energy of the second orbit, say E2 is equal to minus 13.6 the choice of n becomes 2 first condition so here it is for second condition when n is equal to 2 for second orbit what is the energy of the electron means so that will be minus 13.6 by 2 square so nearly this value will be equal to minus 3.4 electron volt If I take E3, energy of the electron in third orbit, minus 13.6 divided by 3 square corresponding to n is equal to 3, then I have value of E3 minus that is a 1.34, minus 1.34. So like this, if I take for E4, so, E4 is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 4 square corresponding n is equal to fourth orbit. Then E4 found to be minus 0.85 electron volt. Minus 0.85 electron volt. You can try these values with the help of simple calculator. And next we can also calculate energy of the fifth orbit. So, that is E5 is equal to minus 13.6 by 5 square. It becomes minus 13.6 by 25. So, this comes out to be minus 0.54 electron volt. It means from this equation, we can calculate the energy of the electron in the various orbit that is first orbit, second orbit, third orbit, fourth orbit, fifth orbit. Like that, we can able to calculate the value of energy associated with the each orbits of an atom. So, generally, what is the minimum energy or which is the least energy associated with the Hydrogen atom means that is minus 13.6 electron volt because as you observe the value here, as you observe the value here for first orbit value is minus 13.6, for second orbit the value is minus 3.4, gradually the value of energy is becoming what? So, it is becoming gone, it is 
increasing. So as an orbit number increases, the energy of the orbit is also increases. Energy of the orbit also increases. See, once if you look at the value, the energy is gone increasing. So now this energy of electron with its various orbit is represented as a one diagram called as energy level diagram. So that energy level diagram we shall see.
see this is the energy level diagram here so this energy level diagram is plotted by calculating the energy of the electron in the various orbits say for first orbit the energy of the electron for first orbit the energy of the this is for third orbit it is 5 1 minus 1.51 electron volt see this figure represent energy level diagram of hydrogen atom so it means the whatever the horizontal lines are there in this figure the horizontal lines are represent the discrete energy the discrete energy associated with the orbits of hydrogen atom so for first orbit the energy associated will be minus 13.6 electron volt for second orbit minus 3.4 electron volt for third orbit minus 1.51 electron volt for fourth orbit 0.85 electron volt for fifth orbit 0.54 electron volt for this infinite if i take n is equal to infinity then it becomes energy is zero electron volt so it means in infinite orbit from the nucleus of hydrogen atom the electron will be with zero energy so that is zero electron volt so that is nothing but the final condition here see vertical lines whatever the i have drawn in this figure these vertical lines indicates transition of electron from higher orbit to the respective orbits say here transition from infinity transition from infinity to first orbit that is lyman series transition from fifth to first orbit lyman series only so fourth to first lyman so third to first lyman second to first lyman series only see this line represent about the water transition vertical line represent the transition of electron from higher orbit to the respective orbit if i want a lyman series electron should must jump from higher orbit to the first orbit say if i take the second one that is balmer series electron is transiting from higher orbit to the second orbit higher orbit to the second orbit in general what that is third to two fourth to two fifth to two in general sixth to two in general infinity to two also corresponds to balmer series and next if you take the third one that is passion series so it is also transition from higher orbit to the third orbit so like that bracket series higher orbit to the fourth p fund series higher orbit to the fifth sixth to fifth seventh to fifth in general infinity to fifth corresponds to p fund series from this energy level diagram so what you can notice means as a orbit number increases as a orbit number increases the energy of the electron is increasing but the energy difference between the states is decreasing so that is the reason here horizontal lines are far apart compared to this condition why so because the levels are becoming closer and closer why as a orbit number increases the energy also increases but the energy difference between the two orbits will be decreases if i calculate energy difference between these two it will be found out to be 10.2 electron volt so if i calculate between minus point uh, minus 1.51 electron volt minus of minus plus 3.4 electron it is also less 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 so it means orbits are becoming close and close okay so orbits are becoming close and close as energy increases as orbit number increases energy difference between the orbits will be decreases so this is about the energy level diagram of a hydrogen atom further for numerical part it is very important this one so generally see here transition of electron from second to first transition of electron from second orbit to first lyman series and remember this will become the first member of lyman series this becomes first member of lyman series and another one thing 
फर्स्ट मेंबर ऑफ लाइमन सीरीज एंड दिस मेंबर ऑफ लाइमन सीरीज करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दॉट है करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दॉट मैक्सिम वेवलेंथ वाई इट करस्पॉन्ड्स टू मैक्सिम वेवलेंथ बिकॉज एनर्जी डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू ऑर्बिट विल बी लेस कंपेर टू दर्जी डिफरेंस बिटवीन हायर ऑर्बिट टू दस्ट ऑर्बिट so it means for a longest wavelength of lyman series means that corresponds to transition of electron from second to first then which is the shortest wavelength shortest wavelength much will be the frequency higher the frequency we know that frequency is related with the energy term so greater the frequency greater will be the energy so energy difference E2 minus E1 is nothing but what H nu. Larger the energy difference for which transition energy difference become more. That is transition from infinity to first. Infinity to first has got largest energy difference. Hence largest frequency, shortest wavelength. Because E2 minus E1 is equal to H nu. More the energy difference, more will be the frequency. So. E2 minus E1 can be expressed as H C by lambda. So more the energy difference, more will be the frequency. Least will be the wavelength or shortest wavelength we call. So this is very important as per the numerical of this chapter is concerned. Longest wavelength and shortest wavelength. In general, longest wavelength means shortest frequency. Which shortest frequency? Corresponds to transition of n is equal to two to one. Longest frequency corresponds to what? Transition from infinity to one in the case of Lyman series. This is very important. In case of Balmer series, shortest frequency. So shortest frequency means longest wavelength. That is from third to two. Third to two. Infinity to two. Longest frequency. Shortest wavelength spectral line. Like that. we can apply for passion series bracket as well as p fund series so this is the concept energy level diagram of hydrogen atom so our next topic is ionization and excitation energy ionization and excitation energy so first we shall see ionization energy what do you mean by ionization energy ionization energy means the energy that would be required to remove the electron from the orbits of an atom so is it very easy to remove the electrons from the orbits of an atom no why because electrons are bound with the electrostatic force of attraction of the nucleus so to remove the electrons out of the orbits from an atom we must be required to supply some amount of energy in order to overcome with the electrostatic force of attraction so therefore in order to do this we require some amount of energy that energy we call as what ionization energy so what is ionization energy it is the minimum energy that would be required to remove the electron from the orbits of an atom into infinite distance from the nucleus is called ionization energy so what is ionization energy means the minimum energy that would be required to remove the electron from the orbits of an atom to the distance infinite distance from the infinite distance from the nucleus we call that as ionization energy means energy that would be required to take the electron towards infinite distance from the orbits of an atom or from the nucleus of an atom so that we call as ionization energy and one thing if you take hydrogen atom a simplest atom hydrogen atom so generally here this theory bohr's theory is applied for hydrogen atom in general hydrogen is the simplest atom we can take that consideration so for hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom 
generally for a first orbit n is equal to 1 for innermost orbit n is equal to 1 energy we know that is minus 13.6 electron volt we know energy corresponding to this orbit is minus 13.6 electron volt so here ionization energy either you can express in joules we can also express them in electron volt if you express ionization energy in terms of electron volt we call it as ionization potential we call it as ionization potential so here for hydrogen atom generally for n is equal to one state normal state or ground state or least or lowest energy state so under this condition for hydrogen atom n is equal to one atom has got largest negative value least energy of the atom is least because minus 13.6 electron volt if this is the situation now i want to make the electron to be taken from infinite distance from the nucleus by supplying ionization energy then remember what is the energy that i would require to make the electron free from this orbit number one to infinite distance means generally n is equal to any uh, to take the for a infinite distance from the nucleus so what is the energy that i would require to supply means plus 13.6 electron volt so what is the energy that i would require means plus 13.6 electron volt is the energy required so in general if electron is belonging to the second orbit we know that for second orbit it is minus 3 point uh, uh, that is a what is that for first orbit it is minus 13.6 electron volt hence plus 13.6 electron volt if i supply then the electron will be free from that orbit that is ionization energy next if the electron is belonging to the third orbit, that is minus 3.4 electron volt so to remove this for the infinite distance so plus 3.4 electron volt i have to use then energy becomes zero so it will be taken at infinite distance yes or no so therefore this is the ionization energy ionization energy for ground state of an hydrogen atom is plus 13.6 electron volt why because for n is equal to 1 energy is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt to free the electron from minus 13.6 electron volt state to infinite distance we need to supply the energy plus 13.6 electron volt next excitation energy what is excitation energy excitation energy means the energy that would be required to take the electron from one orbit to the another orbit or from lower orbit to the higher orbit that we call as excitation so even this is also a not an easy process to take the electron from lower orbit to the higher orbit because once again they are under the electrostatic force of attraction so to overcome with this we need to supply some amount of energy so in order to excite the electrons from lowest energy state to the highest energy state so that we call as excitation energy so excitation energy means is the minimum energy that would be required to take the electron from lower orbit to the higher orbit is called as excitation energy if you express that in terms of uh, electron volt then it becomes the what uh, excitation potential so now for example for example generally ground state of hydrogen atom for n1 is equal to 1 energy of the electron is minus 13.6 electron volt if in case of hydrogen atom say n is equal to 1 energy is minus 13.6 electron volt for hydrogen atom only i am discussing for hydrogen atom so what is the excitation energy that i would require in order to transist the electron from first orbit to second orbit in case of hydrogen atom so energy of the first orbit is minus 13.6 electron volt say i want to excite the electron to second orbit say i want to take this electron to this orbit so in order to do this i have to supply energy so what is that energy so we know that second orbit energy will be minus 13.6 by 4 that is minus 3.4 electron volt so what is the excitation energy in order to take this electron from ground state to the higher orbit means generally that excitation energy will be equal to the energy difference between these two orbits what is the energy difference minus 3.4 
माइनस ऑफ माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस थ्री पॉइंट फोर प्लस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सो नियरली इट इज टेन पॉइंट टू प्लस टेन पॉइंट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सो इट मीन्स आई हैव टू सप्लाई अ टेन पॉइंट टू टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ऑफ एनर्जी इन ऑर्डर टू टेक दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम वन टू सेकेंड ऑर्बिट फ्रॉम लोअर ऑर्बिट टू सेकेंड ऑर्बिट इन द सेम वे वी कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम सेकेंड ऑर्बिट टू थर्ड ऑर्बिट we can also calculate from third orbit to the fourth orbit so on so this is nothing but excitation energy so excitation energy means taking the electron from lower energy state to higher energy state so how to rise it so by supplying energy and how that energy can be supplied so either that energy can be supplied in the form of radiation okay so either in the form of a field like that so generally Uh, what is that energy will be how we can get the idea of ionization and uh, excitation energy in order to excite very simple excitation energy that would be required for electron to take from lower to respective orbits just you take this subtraction of energy of the final orbit and initial orbit so that you will get the idea of uh, excitation energy so this is our today's concept energy level diagram of hydrogen atom as well as ionization energy and excitation energy so in our next class we shall discuss uh, limitations of bohr's theory and de broglie's explanation for the bohr's postulate bohr's second postulate uh, and later on we have a numerical session thereby the chapter will completes okay thank you